this is a double queened hive. It's a side by side. There is a queen here and here. And they were old queens, like 19. And this spring I put them in this side by side. They did fabulous in this side by side. But coming into winter 2021, I wanted to get their genetics. So I pulled both queens and put them into another set of nukes because they were still doing so well. And I wanted these two nukes to requeen themselves. And what I'm doing here is just seeing if they're mated. By the population, I say that they're mated. They act nice. They're not dwindled. They haven't went off looking for a new home. And they're very, very calm. This hive actually put up over 10 frames of honey for me. And yet, when I put these two queens, the original two 19 queens in here, they could not handle their 10 frame double medium hives. They were really failing and it would have succumbed to some sort of pest. So I'm looking to see if they are mated now. It's a super nice population on both sides. They don't seem to be running from one side to the other. If one side was mated and the other wasn't, I could see where one side would be light and the other side would be heavy because they would choose to go towards the mated queen and they did not do that from what I can see. I could be wrong, but let's see. So this is the second story of this medium. And she's up here laying. So I, this side is made it. All I see is eggs. I expect to see a little bit of larva, but that could be downstairs. But if I don't have to go downstairs, I don't have to. She's laying everywhere. There's still drones in this hive. That's a nice one. So when working a double nuke, you want to be careful if I pull this frame over here and that queen to s decides to drop she's now in a hive that's not hers so you do want to be really careful come on move out of the way what are you doing flipped over you dying And this side has made it as well. Really nice. She's even laying drone comb, uh, drone eggs, which says she thinks things are plentiful.
This frame actually has older larva, not ready to be capped, but it does say she's been mated for at least five or six days. if I can get a picture of it. There's the larva right next to all the eggs. So these were queens that I did not graft and this is just pull your queen and let them make a new queen. They had at least 10 frames of bees. The more bees you give them to make a queen the better off it is and they will choose which cells will hatch or emerge. This is a great, great thing. And I still have, it's, it's September, so I have a while to let them get laying before I decide where they're gonna go and how I'm gonna make them, make them over winter. This is a really nice, really, really nice. And these, here is, um, you can see on the same frame they had made drone comb. Come on, focus. Here's the drone comb. That's really, she's laid all that. She's laid all this. And so I am assuming by their prolific nature, they actually laid down below. And this is just a perfect ending. So yeah, do side by sides. This is a medium with just a mo removable divider. It can be removed and used as a regular medium again. These are four frame nukes that are just the short box. So if you're short on equipment, you can use your medium. If you have a little bit extra that you wanna start, because if you wanna go up, you have to have these boxes or more dividers. Uh, the divider, is okay in the short term but not great in the long term from my experience i really like the side by sides they are bee factories they really are they like I said, these were 19, 2019 queens that could not hold their own in a 10 frame and, you know, secondary or third mediums to be a production colony. However, they are now production colony as far as bees. So you can use these types of colonies as uh, nuke fillers. You can use them to fill out new uh, other nukes that you're building that have dwindled slightly but came back and they need a little push they really work so i encourage you to give it a try so until next time thank you for watching tell your friends to subscribe and happy beekeeping